Alrighty guys, hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're going to be looking at Simple, the ship integrity script by Whiplash. So here I've got a C-130 that I made a while back. I never finished, as you can tell by the cockpit. And I've just slapped some LCD screens on the top here, and we're going to show some ship diagrams. So the first thing to know about this script is that it won't show subgrids. So here we've got uh, wings on subgrids because they fold and those won't show up. But it's still a very powerful script and it's designed to be super light on performance. So here's how we set it up. First, we're gonna need a programmable block, and I build my ships with a bunch of extra ones. We'll call it uh, display. We're gonna go edit, browse scripts, and we're, we'll look for simple. Right, here it is. As always, it'll be linked in the description. We'll just go ahead and click okay. Now we need to take all of our LCD panels that we want to use for displaying, and put them in a group called simple, just like that. Hit save. Now this will take all of these and currently nothing's happening. That's because anytime you want to refresh new ones, you got to, as it tells us here, just go ahead and type in refresh and hit run right in that command line and there we go. They're all starting to populate. Look at that. Now we have seven of the exact same display. That's not super helpful, but we can see it's got a legend up in the corner and it's got some information shown. If I go into one of these, say this one, I can go to its custom data, and I can change stuff, like how big I want the legend to be. And if we switch the auto layout to uh, false, I can change how big I want the display to be. We'll put that at maybe 5. If I go back to the program of block now, display, hit refresh, and we should see that this one has a very large legend and a much smaller display. And there goes the wind, as usual. And so you can configure these your own on your own if you want. Now what I'm also going to do is this is number 6, 5, and 7. And if I go ahead and go to this group, I'll copy the name, delete it, find them, and remove 5, 6, and 7. Resave that group. So now what I've done is only this one is in the group. And if I go ahead and grab this um, information here, which will also be in the description, you can just go ahead and copy this in. And this allows it to be multi-screen, so you can have one big display. We change it to 2x2, two two. that's because it's got two rows and two columns. And now, if we go back to the program block, go to display, and refresh, now it is j one big one, so you could make as many of these as you want next to each other and have one big display, maybe in your bridge or something, in the engineering bay, whatever, that shows the information here. Now notice they're all still showing the same one and it's still this annoying side view. So what can we do about that? Well, if we go into custom data, we have this normal axis. We'll change this one to Z. We'll change this one to Y. And then on this one, we will actually change the rotation to 90 so that it's oriented acrosswise. Notice this is the tail, that's this tail here, and so we want it to be kind of straight as we're seeing it. We'll go back to the display and run that refresh, and now look at that, we've got a beautiful front view right here, a top view, a side view, and this one is still our big side view. And so maybe I think I like the top view the best, so if we go into the top left one, we can edit its stuff, and I don't remember which axis was the top view. I think it's the Y perhaps? Yes. And so we'll go to Y here and actually if we move, oops, if we remove some of this tail here, we can actually place two more just like this. We'll go back in here and we'll set this to the Y view. We will rotate it by, I think negative 90 might be what I want. And then this multi-screen, we now have three rows and two columns. We'll go back to the display here, that programmable block, and go ahead and hit refresh. And now, there we go, now we've got a very large um, thing. Notice here that the wings aren't showing because they're on subgrids. And so that's just the way the script was designed, but you've got the legend up here, which is maybe a bit small for this case, but everything is showing. And um, it looks perhaps a bit obscene without the wings, but we can just return to each of these up here. And so we, we uh, show, as you can see, damage. Uh, right there, there's some damage because I uh, 
remove those blocks. If we remove some of these blocks as well, um, you can see it's showing that damage as well. Right there, all of the damage is showing on each of the screens. Um, any weapons that we might have, which currently we don't have any, but the power systems are shown, the gyros are shown, and the thrusters, because they're on subgrids, are not shown. So you can use this very simply on any ship, large or small grid. Um, obviously, the bigger ship you have, the longer it'll take to process, but you can set it up just like that. And the final settings you can do are if you go into the programmable block itself and go into its custom data, you can actually change the colors here. Um, so, for instance, if we wanted the um, the missing block here. Currently it's set to 100, 0, 0 for red, but if we change this to maybe 100, 100, um, we'll get a different color. And so then we'll just go ahead and recompile, or perhaps refresh would work. And so there we go, it's loading, and now it looks like uh, it doesn't know that those are damaged because I actually recompiled instead of just refreshing. But if we remove it now, so now it's showing a bit of a yellow color for damage, which is uh, kind of similar to our gyro, so maybe that's not a good color. But if, you, um, if you're familiar with RGBs, or if you just drag any kind of light and uh, throw down a light, then you can experiment with that light right here and find an RGB that you like. So perhaps you'd like maybe more of a magenta for damage. So that's 255. 0255. So we'll go here, go to the programmable block, edit its custom data, look again for this missing, we'll go 255, 0, and 255. And this time I think we can just use refresh. Yep, and there we go. Now you can see that that's exactly that color, so our missing blocks are all shown in magenta. So I hope this uh, is helpful for you, and you have fun with it. I should also note that you can uh, do the same if you add any cockpit blocks or any other blocks um, with uh, panels. So for instance, you can see that these programmable blocks down here actually have their own text panels and um, LCD screens. And so this one is running a different script and it's actually got something already on there. But for instance, this one, this programmable block floor, 4, if I added it to simple, hit save, go back to the program block that we're actually using and run that refresh we should actually see there we go we've got a very small version of the the ship integrity there and we can do the exact same with a cockpit block so this is a control seat and it's only got one screen but some of your cockpits have two three four or five and if we just go ahead hold control add it to simple and save go back to that display one here and um, just going to, oops, we want this one. Run the refresh command. Now it's also on this screen. And just uh, as before, you can do the same kind of thing where you can change the rotation and which, which one it is. And the only difference there is that if we use an actual cockpit that has, um, oop, those are half blocks on the top. If we use a cockpit that has multiple screens, like for instance, this one's got all of those little screens, if I add this one to simple, and we go into programmable block display again, and hit refresh, now it's going to try and pick, and so it picked that one, and you can notice it's kind of getting cut off uh, right over there, but that's because if I go to custom data, we see this show on each screen, and so you could actually have multiple angles showing on different screens, so for instance, that one is set to the X, and we'll just give it a rotate so that it's the right way. But then we can have screen one also set to true. And as always, if we go back to display, hit refresh, we should see it pop up. There's screen one, which is really, really, really small. Um, so maybe if that's one, two, three is the bigger one. So we'll say also three, I'd like you to show up. And so for instance, that, that two or one rather, which is really small, um, perhaps that's not helpful for showing a whole screen, but you could have just the legend there and then save the bigger ones for, for the other stuff. And let's see, it, um, doesn't seem to have refreshed it. Let's try that again. Refresh, please. Mm. There we go. 
Now if we go back in here, we've got separate ones for each of those screens. So here's screen 3. We'll change that to Y, or we'll, we'll do Z. And as always, back to display to hit refresh. And just like that, now we've got the front view there, the side view up there, which you can't see very well, and a, a legend displayed there. So hopefully that is helpful to you and you can use it for all sorts of cool things on your ships. So with that, um, if you like this kind of stuff, the little plug is uh, hit the like button on this video so that more people can see it and maybe sub consider subscribing so you can see more videos on scripts and other cool creations like the C-130. And um, the link to this script will be in the description. Uh, have Happy space engineering and I'll see you out there.